All right, guys, today's uh, project is going to be putting lights on this trailer. Uh, I've done another video uh, wiring up a trailer that was a little more extensive than this one's going to be. Uh, but this might give you guys some ideas on wiring up a simple boat trailer. This does not have brakes, so the axle, and what all that means is uh, the axle itself doesn't have a braking mechanism on it. You rely solely on the tow vehicle for braking. So this is a very simple trailer. This is very, very similar to a lot of lawnmower trailers, small boat trailers, wave runner trailers, and stuff like that. Most of them, I would wager, do not have brakes. So this will be a very simple wiring project, and I'll show you as we go here what I'm doing. Well, I'm trying to piece together enough stuff uh, that I don't have to buy anything to make this... Uh wiring on this trailer. I've got a couple of good tail lights. This is the guts out of one of the lights and I'm just testing it to make sure it's good. Uh, they look good. The sockets look nice and clean. They're not all corroded and everything. And how I'm testing it is uh, I've got my, my uh, leads, just a couple of alligator clips clipped on a battery, just a 12 volt. It just happens to be a deep cycle battery laying there in the garage. And come up here, attach the negative to the white wire. And when we put uh, current to the brown wire we should see it uh, like a low glow out of both of these lights this will be a side marker light this will be the main tail light so we get a glow out of both of them now if I touch the green light you'll see it get bright on the tail light see how much brighter that is there's low that's running light that's brake light running light brake light considerably brighter now the green means this would be for the right hand side as you're facing the rear of the trailer this this light fixture should go on the right side if it had a yellow wire that would indicate that it should go on the left that's kind of a standard wiring now you'll get some of these cheap kits that they use pink and red wires and stuff like that but nine times out of ten your standard wiring is white ground brown running green is right turn and break yellow is left turn and brake so that's what i'm working on now well you can see i got my tail lights mounted up there you can see the wires peeking out from behind them i uh, left just a little bit of a loop in case uh, something ever comes up you know if i got to rewire a tail light or something i left just a little bit of loop uh, i try to capture all the wire inside the frame to keep it from getting pinched you know if the trailer hits a rock or something underneath or if the boat comes in funny and you know you don't want to pinch your wires so do the best you can to keep them tucked up out of the way. See all the uh, snipped off ends of wire ties? I just use wire tie to kind of capture them inside the channel. This is uh, like a C channel. Um, so keep them away from sharp edges if you can help it. Um, pretty, pretty tidy up through there. When I get up here to the front, I start at the back. First thing I did was mount my tail lights, and then I start pulling wire I kind of, I guess I'm back and forth, but I mount my tail lights first, then I start pulling the wire, and I pull the wire all the way back, and I pulled all four wires over to this one side. So the green, I just continued on around the corner, and the green stops at that tail light. Um, the other, <laughs> excuse me, <coughs> the other uh, white, brown, and uh, yellow. All make uh, connections here to this side. The green, it's not snipped. Um, you can see how I, well, maybe you can, maybe you can't. So the brown comes back here. Rather than using those blue splice, T splices, I hate those things, um, I would much rather bring a wire back, cut it, put it into a butt connector with some heat shrink tubing, and then make it come out the other side. So that's how I kind of do a splice. Um, I use butt connectors and I squirt uh, dielectric grease up in all my butt connectors. So uh, it keeps them pretty weather tight and I don't have, knock on wood, I don't have any trouble out of the connections I make. Now when I come up here then, so I wired the tail lights in, then I kind of tidied up the wire. I pulled all the extra out of it as I work my way up, as I'm wire tying to the frame and I get all the extra worked out all the wrinkles all the kinks and when i get up here then i decide how long i want to be to uh, attach to the truck um, so i 
I leave about, oh, I don't know, about 18 or 24 inches out in front of the ball. And uh, you figure if, if that were the truck right there, that's a little bit of slack. That's not enough to drag the ground, but it's plenty of slack if you get into a tight turn or something or somebody's got a weird setup on their truck. They got an extra long ball hitch or something. Um, now, when I attach this pigtail, this pigtail um, I found in my uh, junk box, um, rather than cutting, that pigtail's got all four wires coming out of it. Rather than cutting them all four off at the same length, you can see I staggered it. So I staggered my joints so that I can slide it up inside wire loom. If you cut them all off at the exact same length, you got one big old wad of connections then. But if you stagger them, it'll fit up inside that wire loom. All right, well you can see I've got my battery up here again with my uh, leads. And I've got the uh, negative clipped on kind of precariously to the white wire. That's the ground. And I've got the uh, positive clipped onto the brown wire or the, the terminal end of the brown wire. And we can see back here, brown again is running. So we were just double checking that we've got both bulbs are lit up on both fixtures. So we're gonna go up here and I'm gonna move that clip over to the yellow, make sure the brake on the left lights up, then I'm gonna move it over to the green and make sure that the uh, brake on the right side lights up. Okay, so we're on, now we're clipped on to the yellow wire. It's kinda hard to see the, uh, the colors of the wires there, but we're clipped onto the yellow. And hopefully you'll notice how much brighter that is lit up. Cause those are, those are a two filament bulb. The most of your taillight bulbs are two filament. One filament is for the running light. The other filament glows brighter for the brake light. So we got nothing over here on the right. And that's what we expect. We'll go up here. And we're going to clip this. If I can do this without shorting everything out. Okay, now we're clipped onto the green, which should be the right side. And our left is no 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 juice going to the left, so that's right. The right side, now we can see that just that one bulb is bright. The running light is off. So that's that's that everything's working fine. Everything's working just like it should. A lot of guys get confused and they kind of think that the brake light is different or is carried on a separate wire than the turning. And that's not the case. The truck controls that. Um, whatever magic things go on in the wiring of the truck, um, the truck determines whether or not it's sending back an intermittent signal for turn or a solid continuous signal for brake. So the brake and turn are both carried on the same wire and it activates the bulb in the same way. It's up to the truck or the tow vehicle, it was car or whatever, to send the signal back on that wire to tell it to be either a brake light or a flasher. Well, you can see I got the loom on the wires, uh, tidied up the appearance. Uh, it helps to keep all the wires together uh, so that you know you don't damage them as easy. A uh, little bit of electrical tape on the ends and every six or eight inches, I put a little wrap of electrical tape, uh, keeps that loom on there. Uh, I smeared some dielectric grease all over the pins up in that one, uh, female connector and all over the three male connectors uh, it just keeps the corrosion down and you'll be a whole lot happier with the performance of your trailer lights uh, if I helped you with this one guys click that thumbs up button if you want to see more videos like this me working on this trailer or other stuff click that subscribe button until the next video keep on tinkering